<laughs> hey guys, Ben here. Um, so I'm doing a Nazi zombie commentary. This isn't live, by the way. This is recorded pre-over. But the new zombie map Moon, pretty good so far. I like what I've seen. I found the secret radio already. I've uploaded that to YouTube um, to show you guys. I found the stamina machine. If you want to see where the um, you know power is on this, just keep watching this gameplay. Um, yeah, and it shows you where the power is, and it shows you what routes are taken off them. Uh, okay. Um, I like the little survival mode at the beginning. When I first spawned, I thought, what, what's going on? Um, this obviously, you know, is my first time playing on a like, pack punch machine. What? Why is there a pack punch machine there? I was like, what? Okay, so there's obviously a teleporter over there, and I'm thinking, okay, right. Well, there's no waves, and I'm thinking, what's this? So they'll be dying one hit. Um, so I'm walking around, and I'm hitting them, and I'm getting all oh, the thing. Oh, I can pack punch my pistols. Actually, no, it gets too hard. I think if you've got a team of four, maybe you can hold it off. Maybe you can do some good shit there. Maybe you can pick a bunch straight away. But I know you can round up a lot of points straight away. And you get your main amount of points. And, you know, you, you get it over and done with. So, you know, that's pretty good all in all on this gameplay. Uh, all in all, I think this map is, is brilliant. And uh, it's pretty cool how they did that survival thing at the beginning. So basically, you can get your points up and stuff like that. And it's just brilliant. So anyway, guys, I'm, it's my birthday today, 23rd of August. Um, I'm 15, and it's pretty cool, so I can watch this video back and go, oh, I was 15 when I made this video. So yeah, 15 years old, and I'm making this commentary now for you guys, um, just to tell you that. I'll be on holiday tomorrow, so I might not upload, well, obviously I won't upload any videos, so I apologise for that. Um, no videos will actually be uploaded um, until the next following Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, guys, uh, doing Nazi zombie gameplay, Call of Duty commentaries, etc. like that. I was just getting my bearings on the map, I had no idea what was going on, you're jumping around like crazy, um, and yeah, it's pretty. It's all in all pretty fun, um, I've got to say, it's a brilliant, brilliant zombie map, um, now this, look, the guy in the space suit, I have no idea what this is, but he is really hard to kill, um, I do actually get a death machine here and actually kill him, but he blows up, and I know it only takes a couple of Olympia things, it's kind of like, Kind of like George in one way, and they're kind of like the dogs on the moon, but um, except you know you don't actually you see the faces. It's a spaceman. And they blow up, so I presume if they blow up outside, they can launch you over the map. There's a little chasm over there where one of the secret radios is, and you can fly off. And it says something about air testing or something like that. So maybe if you go close to there, you might get sucked in. As you can see, I got a death machine. Blew the guy up there, um, as you can see, obviously. Um, and if you go close to him, I've actually done it sooner or later. Um, if you go close to him, he actually launches you back quite far. So that's actually, you know, quite a nuisance. But you know, you get there in the end, and it's actually not that bad. Um, no, but finding guns, I was just basically using the Olympia on this one. I mean, it's not a very high round per se, but it's still, you know, okay, and it's still up to, you know, those sorts of standards. You know, I'm pretty impressed with that um, for the first go, anyway. <laughs> I mean, I got confused. Um, as soon as I spawned and there were no rounds, I thought, I swear this is supposed to be on the moon. Because it kind of looks like ascension, um, mind you. It looks like part of ascension. And, you know, when you're about to go up, maybe the teleporter, I don't know, links to the moon or something like that. It's all weird, and, you know, it's all it's all there for you, so... Um, you know, it's a good map. I can't wait to run around it. There's obviously a massive easter egg. And I'd love to say now, I don't think there's any more zombie maps after this. N maybe not on this game. But on World of War, they had a song afterwards, and this one doesn't have a song at all, so... I don't know whether they'll have no, you know, no more zombie maps after this, or... That's just to make people think that, you know, as I'm saying it now. <laughs> but, um, hopefully, hopefully not. Um, hopefully there will be, you know... Excuse me. Hopefully there will be uh, another song, obviously, another um, zombie map, because I'm a really big fan of zombies, and... It'd be a shame to see the series go out of sync when Treyarch make the next game. I'm sure this is slightly in the future, so if they did like kind of make a Modern Warfare style game, it actually wouldn't affect it in the slightest. Actually, it wouldn't affect it that much and that badly. Um, it'd still be, um, it'd work out fine. They could still use the same characters because they've already travelled to the future and they could always make up a new storyline. And they could always give us all these new maps for free. Or maybe if you get the Prestige Edition, you get all of them. Or you know, like they did now. And I think that would be brilliant, um, you know, so it's just something to, for them to think about. And I think they should actually incorporate that in, you know, um, 
the next Nazi zombie franchise as per se I think they should do that um, so yeah sorry I'm just uh, editing this video thing um, but no um, that you get more than one guy I think I, I don't know if I kill him here or I'll leave him but you, you'll see I don't know if it's any close up but he actually launches you quite far away so this, this is quite this is in like the under the moon's surface kind of thing I think it's like a tunneling system because it can actually come out of the roof I like that new effect when that came in on I don't know if it was just Call of the Dead, I think it might have been. Um, I think they started to do similar things on Ascension, but not actually jumping down from things. I'm not quite sure about that. I've actually not played Ascension in ages, so I'm going to have to get some Ascension gameplay for you guys. You know, as, after all, it does link into going to the moon, and it does link into, you know, um, Ascension itself. People have been saying, oh, well, um, the old maps have been changed and everything like that. They haven't. They're exactly the same. I've downloaded the content. I've checked them out. They're exactly the same in every way. You know, maybe you have to do something to unlock it. Maybe there is something different with it, but not as I can see. Nothing I can see there that's different, so don't you worry your heads about it, guys. Um, the reason for like that, everything's the same, I presume. You know, it'd be funny if the first map with a pack punch machine, or you know, they had perks and they put it, that sort of stuff in. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, you know, that's pretty fun. Now, you look at um, Dead Ups Arcade and you think, okay, Dead Ups Arcade, cool, you got unlimited ammo. Imagine if the beginning of this map was that you had unlimited ammo and you could just keep spraying the zombies until you wanted to teleport. That would be overpowered in some ways because um, you'd actually get unlimited points. But yeah, if they actually made a whole thing about zombies, they could they could kind of make a campaign kind of thing. You have to do the missions. They tell you exactly what to do to do the Easter eggs, right? They put it in like a campaign mission thing. You do all the Easter eggs on one map, then the next, then the next, then the next. You teleport to the next one. You do all that. And then you do, you know, your drink perks, and you can lose them, you can take them to the next map, you can even go back maps, you can go, you can explore with friends, you can do co-op. Now that would be amazing. And you could, you know, choose what character you want, like Dempsey or whatever at the beginning. That would just make the awesome game. That would make a awesome game. So, if they ever did that, yeah, good idea. <laughs> um, but I don't see them doing that anytime soon, unless the next one's actually going to be... Um, zombie related, I know it's Call of Duty and maybe it's a Call of Duty to get rid of zombies you know, you can't, it doesn't always have to be warfare, humans versus humans, it could be humans versus zombies, like this is here, so, yeah, anyway um, I, I don't know if I've turned on the power yet or not, but basically, I turn on the power and I start like, running around, trying not to get killed, but I do get cornered eventually um, you guys see that I do get down here, which I, I don't get very happy about, but, you know, I, th I think you know, I can't be asked to go get some more quick revive Let's try and unlock as much of the map as possible. Um, the moon guy blew up again there. I think it was there. In fact, yeah, because I got a bomb. I'm not entirely sure there. But yeah, as you can see, I got rid of him. And I was just opening up all the rooms and everything just exploring. And I actually found the power room. Um, I presume it's in this clip. Uh, can't really see it. Yeah, I think it's this room here. Uh, um, control center. And there's like a pyramid and it's got a teleporter device on the top of it I don't know what that's about um, I don't know if that's a clock or a dial I was trying to hold X against it but zombies were coming at me and oh it was all crazy it was all crazy nonsense but we've got that all sorted now that's all done and dusted and that's pretty cool um, so yeah guys uh, you guys should get the new map pack if you've not already got the hardened edition you, you know you can't buy it and obviously I got this map pack for free nice little birthday present for me um, so this is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys like my commentary. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the content, put it on your favourites, please. Um, watch it again sometime. So I'll see you guys later. I'll let you guys watch the rest of the, the gameplay, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. I'll see you guys whenever I make a.